comes the other boyfriends. All right, view on watch page. We are live. I don't think anybody will watch this. Or at least we'll have it up. There we go. Uh, yeah, we are live. Okay, so. Anyways, I was going to do this yesterday, but um, I got quite busy, so I am going to... Hey, Big Bang, how are you? We're going to work on this guy today because we want to get ready to do the settler phase finally. Hey, Neutral, Ice Guardian, how are you? It is Saturday morning. I figure I'd do something in the morning for once. Wow, Misfits here. Wow, nine people. I didn't think I'd even have nine people. Helen's here. Jeez. You guys are all up. So, um, let me just give you a little lowdown. Uh, we're going to continue on with our um, uh, Rising Sun stuff. We're going to get into the meat of stuff. Anybody can paint monsters. I mean, they're big and everything like that. But we're going to get into the clans next week. So, I really wanted to get this done because next weekend I'm going to go through the settlement phase and... I believe my daughter and her boyfriend Jerry will be here and we are going to be playing Gloomhaven. So Monday we're painting Gloomhaven. Just like I said, everything just kind of gets a little spaced out a little bit. Also, there'll be a video later today on 1500, which I'm planning on playing live tomorrow. So there you go. Saturday is better than Sunday for me. Oh, well, I'm going to be doing something live tomorrow. Uh, when you have a four-year-old baby, you're always up. Uh, that's very true. So, here we have this antelope. Uh, so, let me explain to you. Uh, he, he is the next, uh, I don't know if we call him villain, but the thing that we're going to be facing in um, Kingdom Death Monster once we're done with um, uh, the uh, lion. I think we've got to face the lion one more time. And then we're going to move on to him. So I kind of want to stay ahead of everything and, and painting things. And we'll probably upgrade our figures too, put those together and stuff like this. This guy's a little bare to put together. Okay. You have him split down the middle, which is fine. You glue that together. These ears are really tough to get in. The One antler can be a little problem. And just making sure that the tail's right in that spot is not the easiest of things but it does work out okay and then of course as you can see the way he's positioned on here he is just he's just glued onto this base with his two feet so uh what i did just to give you a show and and i'm going to put another one together live because i have another one i have to do um uh as you can see i i just anchored that there and glued it and put him on there and just left it for a day Okay, um, tomorrow I plan on doing a live uh, playthrough of 1500, so make sure that you check out that video today. Uh, I think this is a game from DBG that you're going to like. I'm going to call tomorrow kind of solo playthrough day, because uh, we're going to try to get a couple things done. Uh, also, a live vlog, or maybe I'll tape it, it depends on time I have, and uh, then next week... Uh, during the week, in the middle of the week, we are going to have Bella's um, silent auction. So uh, I've been working on that too. All right, without further ado, let's get going to where we want to go here with uh, this guy. Now this here, I'm going to go by the picture I saw. Hey, Nathaniel, how are you? And that is uh, the way I'm going to do him or paint him is I think a gray. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an etch in gray and we're just going to cover all of him except for the inside. I'm going down to paint massive darkness. Well, I've got to finish up some of my massive darkness stuff too. So that's a pretty, pretty good thing here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little on here. I don't want to take all the, and, and cover all the black because this isn't going to be that important. This coat, this is just to kind of give me a little bit of a, uh, work here um, an area to work with so I'm not worried about getting it on the base or things like that and just kind of making sure that I get a nice light coat on his entire being and that's all we're doing with this coat 
and we're using an etching gray. That's one of my next projects, Helen. It's warm enough to prime, so I am. Yes, it's it's tough when it's very, very cold, that's for sure. Also, I will be in St. Louis for one day. Uh, that will be... Um, well, I'll be there a part of the 9th and the 10th, and I'm flying back uh, due to things that are going on here. I want to make sure that I get back. And... Um, I am actually going to be at Miniature Market March 10th. I will be at their new superstore that they are opening up. So if you guys want to come down, say hello, play a game, uh, maybe get some painting lessons. I don't know. We're, we're gonna we're gonna just take things as they come that day and see how it all plays out. Uh, there's going to be a live podcast. Uh, I'm going to be on the Berkey. The Berkey, whatever, Bucky and Berkey show, whatever his show is. I, I, I forget what they call that. I don't stay up on, I'm not up on all the podcast and technology. Now, you see, that's the thing I was afraid of. I think he's got to he's got to be painted. He's got to be glued on afterwards. Just the pressure of the brush knocked him off. So that's a good thing to know. Um, I'm probably going to have to pin him as well. That's something that we may have to show you later on. But right now, all we're worried about is... I knew he wasn't going to stay on there. But it was a good thing to show you and not to get discouraged if it pops off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill two holes here. And then I'm going to drill two holes here and then pin him and glue him. So we're just going to worry about that another time. Right now, our main objective is to get this paint on. And All right, why don't we paint his hoofs real good, too, while we're at it. I didn't think he was going to stay on. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But because this is standing on such a small little area, it was just a matter of time. All right. Our meetups totally win, but still annoying. Ah, there you go. Good morning, Monster X. How are you? So we're just going to go over, and I'm just making sure that this grays in here really, really well. And we're going to put him down for a second. And while we're at it, let's just make sure that we have everything kind of where we want it be there that's perfect that's what I want I want to keep a little bit of that if you notice I have a little bit of that that um oh what the heck am I calling it uh primer underneath oh, see I gotta get his ear a little bit so I'm gonna take a little bit there and let's clear this in here come on come on there we go I'm not worried about where I'm touching and stuff like that because we're going to be going over that even farther. Okay, so let's clean off this brush. Killer Rabbit, how are you? Are you ready for the 24-hour stream today on PGTV? Um, hopefully we've got our internet set, so that'll always be a good thing. And uh, guys, as you see, we are getting things done and like I said we are going to be doing our live uh, auction on Wednesday so we're just gonna let this dry for a second and I'm gonna talk for a little bit uh, we're gonna do the Bella fund where we're gonna try to raise some funds for Bella and uh, to help out other people who have uh, uh, dogs that they can or, or pets that they can't afford to get medically treated we're going to invoke a fund and we've worked with the uh, we're going to work with the vet and see where we can donate a little money here or there to help some others so i am selling a good part of the collection and there's some really neat stuff in there i've already got five boxes just filled the shipping probably kill you alone but <laughs> uh there you go i was deciding between painting and sewing bow ties today you solved it all there you go Killer Rabbit, it's always good to see you. Gregorius, it's always good to see you. Um, 
yeah so we got a lot going on here so while that's drying I'm going to take a smaller version of this bus and I'm going to take some screamer pink now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to mix take a little water here I have this little basin I really enjoy um, it's actually this is a fondue pot I thought it was like a candle incense thing or something I don't know. what do I know and I can mix colors on the bottom or water down paints and stuff like that. And ceramic holds water a good amount of time. So that's always good. And we're just going to really mix that in there. And get that in there. And what I want to do with the Screamer Pink here is flip this guy over. And very carefully, I want to work this in here. Okay. Don't want to get it all over the gray. I'm not worried if I do because of uh, what this is going to do. But the screamer pink is going to act as the inside here. And all I want to do is just kind of set this as my base coat. All right. And that's all we're trying to do here. I'm going to work a little bit right there. There we go. The queen is watching Hallmark movies. She discovered a new channel. It's called Mystery Hallmark Mysteries. Murders and Mysteries. This one's about people in a post office. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that solve letter crimes. No, it's not a crime. Oh, it's not a crime? They they they, they have <laughs> undeliverable mail. Undeliverable mail. Oh, hold on. Did the stream die? They're saying the stream died. Okay, it's my internet. Never mind. Oh, God. No, we did not die. I would have been ticked. Stream alive and well here, says Ice Guardian. You're going to get in trouble again, Rob. Oh, well, I'm always in trouble. Might as well. It's Saturday morning. Might as well start off the day right. Okay, so now that we have this painted on the inside, we're going to let that dry. Now we're going to play with that quite a bit. So we're going to be bouncing from here to here to here to here uh, throughout this, this whole venture. So the next thing, what do we do? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, we take a look and we see what, how our coverage is. And we're going to take this bigger... Nah, actually we're going to go a little bit smaller because I want to really control what I'm doing here. So... Let me see, what do I want to do here? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Tammy, because I, I, the minute you said blanked out and tried to find how to deliver undeliverable mail. You said uh, in, the, in the stories that are intertwined with the people. Oh, and the undeliverable mail. Yes. Okay. There's a story about the people in the mail, the people with the mail, and uh -huh. the main characters. Okay. Well, it's amazing what retired coastal offer people will think up of. So now we're going to take an administrative gray. You almost convinced me to get cable. Yeah. Yeah, see? It's called Sign, Sealed, Delivered. It's called Sign, Sealed, and Delivered series. Like this week, there was a package that didn't come, and it had somebody's stuff in it. And... Um, and they found them. Karina. Oh. And these four little sleuths in the office figured it out. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Got myself a nice brush here. Sounds like something that would make me throw out my TV. Oh, oh. Mark. Mark Livergood, Mark, Queen. You're banned. Oh, <laughs> Mark, you just you made the list. <laughs> you're banned. Wow, even I wouldn't say that. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take our administrative gray. We don't want to hit this this top fur here, but what we want to do is kind of just very lightly kind of work in 
and you see what I'm doing here it's going to take a couple coats here uh, we're going to lightly kind of work this in here and just kind of really get this in here real good again not taking off too much of the paint but we want to go lightly in here I kind of like the dark gray underneath, but I want to get rid of that dark gray a little bit. But I want to leave so little of it that you'll see what I'm getting at when I get there. All right, so let's take a little bit more. Let's take a little bit of water here, too. Work that in there. Administrative gray is a great color that does a lot of things. But right now, we're just kind of working on base coats of our buddy here. There we go. And just work that into there a little bit. And again, nice and easy, folks. Nice and easy. Like I said, you know, especially with what you're going to see coming up with um, Rising Sun, a matter of fact. Uh, this week, you know, we're really going to concentrate on the clans. And this is where the hard part comes is that, you know, you know every channel in the world is doing the monsters first. Because it's the easiest thing. And, you know, they can pat themselves on their chest and this, that, and the other. And, hey, even I did the monsters. But I started working in the Dragon Clan. There's a lot of colors there. And I've started developing a way to make it easier so you guys can kind of get enough detail. Um, and not get discouraged to paint it. And that's the most important thing I want to try to create is... A way for you guys to paint it but we're not going to worry about rising sun today because right now we're back with kingdom death monster which believe it or not is probably some of the best models i've ever seen and they do such a nice job with these models boy these are tough to put together but worth it when you get it done all right so we've got that so far we're going to keep on working here Sorry, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries is my guilty pleasure, said said Misfit. Look at Misfit scoring some points with the Queen. So have you seen this sign, sealed, and deliver thing? I don't know why the guy just don't come out and say, Hey, baby, I was digging you. Why don't we? Because he's quirky. He's quirky. Hmm. Well, Quirky's probably saving him an alimony payment. <laughs> oh, man. Now they're getting in a fight. And we're going to kind of work in here. We're not worried about hitting anything in this area because we're going to go back over all this. This is all going to come back here. So. Again, we are working this paint in here. And don't worry about getting it. Again, you can quickly do something and go over stuff and make mistakes or hit certain areas. But try to be careful because, like I said, you can always fix everything. Everything. And I'm going to take a little bit more of this gray. I've seen parts of it while I'm visiting my parents. Yes, I've watched, but I like the other mysteries better. Oh. Oh. I see. Altered Carbon. Did anybody see that they're doing Lost in Space? They're redoing it. And it's coming out April 3rd on, um, on Netflix. I saw the preview for it, and it, it looks cool. I'm going to try to convince the queen to watch that one with me. I think she will, though. Because we both grew up on Lost in Space. And again, this is all going to make sense when we get this all squared away here. And we're just working in here. And working in here. And... Let's get the ears. I'm not worried about getting the antlers. There we go. Let's get 
his ears. There we go. My assumption. See, this is what I do. I sit here and I listen to these things, and then I'll look over every once in a while. And I kind of like the guy that's in here because he's from, um, oh God, what was that show? Oh, see, I made a mistake there already. I got some of that paint in there and I shouldn't have gotten in there. Boy, oh boy. Uh, here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I missed anything. I'm with you, NT. All... All streaming services. I've seen parts of it while I'm visiting my parents. Uh, I like the show with Tom Selleck. Forgot the name. Isn't that Blue Bloods or something? Tiff here. Love is a crazy game. <laughs> Even in the post office. There we go. And we're just working this in here. Hey Tim, how are you? Good to see you. As we are painting our little antelope friend here. He's not that friendly. I, you would think that an antelope would be friendly. But he is exacting vengeance for all his brethren that have been butchered and eaten and used as. Oh, there we go. It's just a matter of getting this prime color on here. And once we get that on there, we're in good shape. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. So he's going to sit up like that. Yeah, okay. There we go. And I can go over this a little bit because I'm going to go over that with another color. And I'm okay with that. I've got to get this little area in here. That's really, really... There we go. Smoochy, smoochy time. All right, and just a little bit more, and I think we'll be in good shape here. A little bit more. Uh, is it wrong that I'm thinking about what tequila to buy today and it's 9 a.m.? Mr. Figs, come on, dude. It's a family-friendly show. You should at least wait till 10. There we go. All right. And just get that in that cap there. And I'm not worried about because I, I'm going to touch all this up. It's right now just getting base coats, working them in, making sure that I'm getting where I need to and working in this lighter gray, which is going to really sell our friend here. All right, so we're going to let that dry for a second. If you see, we're always working on something. We're working on something, giving it the other paint time to dry. And not putting thick, thick coats on. Just taking our time. Now, let's see. That's not going to do. That's not going to do. Uh, no, that won't do. I thought I pulled all the colors, but of course, you know me. No, I do not. Okay, we're gonna take a, some shabby bone. It's okay, it's a family show. Buy a tequila from a family. <laughs> 
<laughs> company. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Tim gets it. Okay, so, oh <laughs> God, I'm going to hell. So, we're going to take some Yushabi Moon. And we are going to work on these antlers a little bit. And there we go. What happened, Tammy? Did it end? Well, she went in the other room. She, maybe for some, some Kleenex. That's what I think. I think she went in the other room for some Kleenex. Because it was a real tearjerker. Especially when they finally figured out that, you know... It was the uh, post office's fault, and then, um, and then they refunded their money. Oh, the tears! <laughs> I was kind of choked up, to be honest with you. Because boy, I tell you, I deal with the post office; it drives me crazy. That's the hardest thing about having this patron is that you are constantly at the post office. When they see me coming with a bunch of packages, it's they're not too happy to see me. All right, so we're going to do that. And that. And that. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is not a hard paint job either. This is probably one of the more simpler paint jobs that you can do. Uh, let's see. Let's flip our boy over. And I think yeah, we're going to let that just dry a little bit more. Maybe we can work the outer bone and worry about the inner bone later. I think that's what we'll do. All right. Here we go. No, I don't like that brush. Make sure you find a brush that you like. Is that a friend? Is a friend of the show? Redwell, how are you? Richard Mulligan, how are you? Glad I found that found out the stream came on definitely enjoy watching this more than homework i've got to do <laughs> well there you go the always the po post office's fault yes payday at the post office and misfit saying hi to everybody leland's been missing for a bit what time is it there it's four o'clock in the morning he's supposed to be here that's okay let him sleep gonna have him replaced very soon anyways uh, let's see here I'm gonna put down this thing and all we want to do with this is we want to hit some of the higher areas here and we don't want to go crazy and make things messy am I still on the camera okay cool just making sure just touching some of that bone edge moving that paint around that's okay i'm just hitting all this it's not going to be perfect because we got to put a wash over it of course and you'll see how this all come together man this is and this thing actually walks with no guts i don't know how that happens I mean, you give me a, you know, something here, a couple of intestines, anything. I mean, what's the point of eating everybody if, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll have to read the story and find out how this all has transpired. And I've got to go get some new brushes today. Matter of fact, next week's Painting 101 is going to be about brushes and which ones to use and which ones not to use when you buy those value packs. Uh, always have a pair of clippers around. Sometimes you get a hair that just kind of hangs out and it's, it's a nuisance because once it gets paint on it, it's a pain in the arse for all my British friends out there. I am woman, hear me roar. It's 7 a.m. here. I got woken up early because of birthday. 
Oh, it's your birthday? No woman, no cry. No Leland, no Kabuki. I know. Well, Kabuki's got arrested sometimes. She's on every stream that there's known a man. Kabuki's a very busy, busy, busy person. Maybe she's working. I don't know. All right. Very nice here. Very nice, very nice. All right. So what do we want to do here? Uh, there okay pretty good that's still drying in there you can see where it's still drying in there let's, let's zoom in a little bit here Oop. let's move this over here and move that back a little bit oh, no we'll move this over here and move that back a little bit and let's see if we can just there we go you see what we're doing here now let's see let's think what do we want to do here? Okay, I've got to work a little bit more on that, that inside there. So now I'm going to take my other brush here and get a little Yushabi bone on there. And I'm going to work, let's bring down the mask, turn on the light, kind of work some of the inside part of the bone there. All right. And kind of just work. I don't know if we'll be able to finish this all in one sitting, which we're trying to do. But we're going to try. Okay, there, 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 there. And let's work that in there. And here. And here, and here, boom, and there we go. I want to just touch up these areas because we're going to hit those pretty hard. And let's see here, is there anything else we're missing? No, it looks pretty good so far. Now we're going to clean this off. And we're going to go back to that etching gray. We're just going to touch up some of the areas that we, we spilt over a little bit on. It's not a bad thing. Oh, did I miss that over there, too? Yes, I did. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Hold on. Happy birthday, Misfit, by the way. I am finding double ear infection and a killer backache this week. Seriously, I want one healthy week. Oh, my goodness. I hope you feel better. Did you cover all the dry brushing? Um, I'm going to work that into the brush thing that I'm going to do next week. Uh, there's more dry brushing that I could show you guys. I probably should do another one and give a couple more examples. That's a good idea, Helen. That's a good idea. I think that's what we'll do. See, even I miss, miss a couple areas here. It's okay. Everybody can't be perfect. Unlike half the people that think they are. But if you think you're the most perfect painter in the world, well, guess what? Here's the thing. If you really are that big uh, headed that you think you're the, the next thing, it, it really means that you're just not confident in yourself. You got to brag about it. You let your work do the speaking for you. That's what I believe, personally. Oh, no, on the antelope, trying to figure out what you are up to. I don't even know what I'm, to, I'm up to. Hard to see on a small screen, but I like the way you think. Um, you know, I'm really just winging this, I'll be honest with you. I have no, nothing going except that I kind of have a vision of what I want to do. It's just I don't know how I'm going to get there. And that's why we're doing this live. So you can kind of see how my thought process goes. Because right now, I'm just kind of, I really am just winging it. I have no picture to go by on this. Um, I saw one picture where this particular creature was a little, was gray. I just want to tighten that up a little bit. And 
I'm just kind of making something up on the fly, to be honest with you. And that's all I'm trying to do is trying to just kind of find my way and find a direction and go, well, what am I trying to accomplish? Because I really don't have an idea as of this moment. <laughs> and I'm live on YouTube. And this is going to be taped forever. So, you know, not too much pressure, right? Not too much pressure. And I don't want to take down the, the video. Let's see here. Grab this by here. And we're just going to fill in this gap here. Over here. Over here. Over here. There we go. And. Let's do this. Let's go to a bigger brush so we can, we can speed it up a little bit here. And by doing this, there we go. And just kind of want to make sure that the, like we're going to go over this and make this a little bit lighter. But we also want to make sure that we hit all the areas that we want to hit with the dry brush when we decide to dry brush. Oh, come on here. Because this fella here, there we go. And there we go. Make sure we didn't miss anything here. There we go. It gives us a little bit more time. Oh, oh, let me back out a little bit. There we go. Because what I'm doing is I'm drifting off. There we go. What happened to Killer Rabbit? Oh, he must be resting up. He must be resting up. What happened to that Killer Rabbit? Yeah, so we got... We got Bella's... Big uh, event... I'm actually going to be giving away a Gloomhaven during it. Yes, a Gloom, the hard to find Gloomhaven. So you'll be able to bid on that. Hopefully, you get it at a good price along with all the stuff that's in the box. I have painted terrain for Super Dungeon Explore, and I'm going to be doing a Super Dungeon Explore box with. The actual terrain and a copy, two copies of the game actually. I'm actually doing, thinking of doing three copies. Um, and a whole bunch of expansions, just making that one big super dungeon explore lot, which I think you will enjoy. Some of it painted, a majority of it painted. It might make more sense to relocate for each upcoming holiday to redecorate. Ah, okay. I know a lot of people who still have their trees up. Today's tried, uh, pr project put Christmas. We, thank God our Christmas stuff is down. Still finding stuff laying around the house here. From Christmas. Uh, where's the administrative gray? We just need to go over that one more time. And then I've got an idea how what we're going to do here. And his ear. I caught his ear here. There we go. Just want to kind of lighten that up there. Come on. There we go. Here we go, fella. All right. And I see that over here. 
I'll put that in there onto the buttocks. All right, that's starting to dry pretty good in there. So, what's the next thing that we do? Well, I'll tell you what's the next thing that we do. We take a little bit of a bigger brush here. And I don't want to do too much of it. I want it to be very, very light. I don't know if I should go Emperor's Children on the inside. Because I do want to... We went Screamer Pink. Emperor's Children, or should I just go right to the Changeling Pink? Kind of work that in there lightly well you know what the beauty about this is is you kind of decide as you go there you go you just kind of decide as you go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of this very little and i'm going to work this right into this corner here it might be a little bit too light I'm really going to take this off. And what I'm going to do is I, um, just going to kind of work that in there a little bit. Not too much. Not too much, just enough to kind of blend it in there. There we go. I think you see what I'm getting at. I don't want it to just be one solitary color. I kind of want to work that in there and blend in and give just a little where you have that darkness but you have that lightness so the meat kind of looks well gross hey there you go all right so i kind of like that and while that's going to sit for a second what do we want to do with this guy well we're going to have to wash over this think this is one time where we take a new oil and kind of work over the main part of the body and then from there we can kind of dry brush so this is going to be a very controlled wash do I want to save that towards the end yeah I think I kind of do because what I really want to do is I want to take some white scar. I want to take some administrative gray. And we're going to take this right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here. So we're going to try to control our washes today. First, we're going to do a little dry brushing. So, we're going to take a little bit of this white, put it right there. Wash off my brush real quick. I'm going to take some of my administrative gray. Kind of work that in there a little bit. And I'm going to look at it and I'm going to say, I don't like it. I want it lighter. Clean off the brush. Oops. Uh, let's see. Will that one do? Nope. Will this one do? Yes. Okay. Where's that white? Okay. And 
we are going to go back to our white and we're going to add some more white there because we want the slightest grayish tinge there. There we go. I think that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm trying to drive home, I think. Where it almost ma it almost disappears on the camera a little bit. All right. And we're going to take it all off the brush. That's right. We worked so hard to get this color, and now we're just going to make a little area here. And we're going to take that all off our brush. We're going to take the bottom of our base. Oh, still too much on there. Still too much on there. You see what I'm going for, though. Okay. And what we're going to do is very lightly work over this fur. Work over that fur. Get that fur where we want it. See? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Just enough where it doesn't interfere with that other gray. And work that in there. And work that in over here in the front part here. And into his neck. And down here. There we go. And now it's starting to blend in a little bit. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden this guy has a little bit of life starting to come to him. Boom. And just like that, we're starting to, we're starting to get where we want to be. Just by just very slowly and timely taking and starting to look at how we want to make things three dimensional. Exactly. Exactly. And there we go. We can work that in here and not worry about. We can hit these areas here and not really hurt anything. You, know, you can work over the hooves. And you can come over here and grab this hoof and say, okay, I can do that too over here. But the main thing is just working that in there. Now all of a sudden, remember we had the black, which was our, our, our color, or the black, which was our primer, sitting there. And, now, and then we went over with that dark gray, and then we came over with this nice light. It's white, but it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a grayish thing. And there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want. And that's how we do things. So now when this guy sits up here, we're starting to get an idea of what we want to do with them. All right, so now, what do we do from here? Well, we always have ideas, don't we? We always have ideas. Let's, let's work that in here. Onto that brush. There we go. Perfect. Now let's get this out of here. Let's clean this off. Morning, Matt. How are you? All right. It is painting with Rob in the morning. Now, it's new oil time, bro. I think this is the time that we do it. Because it's not going to harm anything. But we have to be very, very controlled with it. We have to be very disciplined with it. We just can't go crazy like we normally do. Let's get a better brush for this. I'm going to stop at Hobby Lobby today. I'm going to buy some brushes so we can do some examples of things with some brushes. Okay, this is a new brush. Hi. Hi. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to be very controlled. Let's really work 
to wash into the brush here on this little lid here. So I'm dipping in here and I'm bringing the wash up here and I'm kind of taking it off but not really taking it off. Glad everybody's talking amongst themselves. This is always good. Okay, so now, now what we want to do is with him like this, I wanna I wanna start here and I wanna start just working this wash in very slowly. Very slowly moving it around. Working that wash in. Easy. Easy big fella. Easy. Over here, just come back over here. Come on, come on. There we go. Not taking away any of that work that we already did. Don't want to do that. Okay. Come up to the face here. Be very careful and work that in there. You want to get that into the recesses and into his ears. Okay, and we're going to come around here, and we're going to be very careful. And we don't want to get any on those horns, so we're just going to go in between here nice and easy. Easy, easy, easy. And I see an area that I need to trim the model a little bit, but I can paint over that later. I'm not worried about that. And then see how I'm bringing out his muscle tone? So what I'm trying to do and not put a very, very heavy coat on. And just nice and easy into the back end, into the hind legs here. Hind legs back here. Really working this in here. Not trying to get it into that area. We want to be very careful. Okay. Another thing, back into the ears here, into the face. There we go back of his ear back of his ear I don't mind if it pulls up in his ear there we go and you can see what we are attempting to do here very easily just trying to darken that up because we're gonna lighten it up again again once this dries all right Here we go. Sometimes that's the hard thing about doing something live like this is that you're not, you gotta wait like 30 minutes for this to dry. And that's the thing with washes, they have a great effect, but if you're in a stride here, well, guess what? You are out of luck, my friend, out of luck. You are just going to have to, and you see how I'm just moving, I'm moving the wash around. I'm moving the wash. What do y'all use in your Citadel paints to thin it out when the paint is starting to dry? Uh, oh God, uh, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. I think it's, um, I forgot the name of this stuff. It's gonna drive me nuts now. You can see I am just moving this around nice and easy, moving it into the facial structure, letting it sit in his ear. It's okay, that's okay in his ear. And boom, boom, boom. Trying not to take away what I just dry brushed. All right. Now we want to get his, yes, there we go. We got his hiney. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, we're going to change up a little bit here, too. So now we're going to take a smaller brush. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over those horns. Matte medium, thank you. I couldn't think of it. Matte medium really does a nice job of bringing that back. Sorry, I'm in the middle of doing this and I can't think. <laughs> Especially when I'm making this up as I go. All right. 
I know what I want to do with his eye. Uh, that's too big of a brush. This will do it. Okay. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this wash and we're going to very gently work that into that area because we don't want it to look stupid, right? All right, come on. Come on now. Work with me here, folks. And we're trying to make art here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now that we got his antler squared away too, now let's make sure that we get this all the way through here. Am I showing that? Okay, good. Here, and here, and here. There we go. We don't want it to pull up. I don't care if it pulls up in the antler up top, but I don't want it to pull on his face. So I'm going to turn him upside down. Then, we're going to go right in here. That's right. That's right. With no, with no shame. We're going to we're going to go right in there and we're going to take we're going to darken that whole area up all right here we go boom that's what i'm talking about you see how that's all working now see how we have that that disgusting type of look right now and if you really wanted to be adventurous, I mean, you could work the brown. I mean, you could take and actually take some of this and kind of just give them a two-tone type of look there if you wanted to. It depends what you want to do. Remember, you are the creator. You decide what he's going to be and how he's going to be and what he, he's going to represent. Oof. All right. Hmm. Actually, I, because I really like the dark wash, I'm going to go back over a little bit with that dark wash. All right. So we're going to come back over here a little bit with that because I don't want that really taking over as much. All right. I want to darken him up just a little bit more. Look at that. Look how that wash works. In there and how quickly we went from just ordinary model to something that has some depth and some remember he's going to sit up on here like this and he is going to look hey i have some intent here i have some intent so here i'm just going to put him down a little bit and i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys get a, a good idea what what we're looking at here so let me move him back Does he not fit in? Does it not focus? Hold on here. Oh, for crying out loud. Let me back up here. There you go. I think if you guys... Let me move. Let me move this thing so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, there. He should be focused in now. Sorry about that. Yeah, there we go. So you see what, what we're trying to do here. But we're going to build out even more. We're going to build out even more with him. It's going to take a while for him to dry. I might be able to do his eyes even. I, I don't know what... You know, sometimes those, those dark eyes, they're like black eyes, they're like a doll's eyes. I saw him coming in the water. Yeah, you know, the whole Jaws thing. We can go black eye. We can just put a black eye in there. But I don't think that'll really really sell the fact that this thing is crazed and evil i think uh, maybe a red with a wild wild rider red in here you know kind of build out an eye with you know start out with a, like an evil sun scarlet and kind of highlight out with it um i think that might work better on this just to give it a little bit more color and stuff like that once this this wash dries 
we're going to start highlighting outwards. So that's something that I will probably tape. But I wanted to get this started. You know, whoops, let me move this over. So you see what exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, whoa, whoa. So, I'm sorry, I moved the thing over. Helen, thank you so much because I need an alarm clock this morning and this was a great surprise. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's going to go to, uh, we're going to definitely, definitely, definitely uh, use it uh, for um, uh, uh, some more paints. You're going to help me get some brushes today. Thank you so much. Ooh, red glowing eyes make sense. Yes, they do. Is there actually a mouth or on its head? Uh, no, the mouth is very, uh, is, is covered up here. If you look right there and what's happening is its mouth is closed. We might light, we might go a little bit darker here and bring out the snout a little bit. But um, I mean, right now, I think we can do, do this without messing things up too much. Uh, where's my good brush? I'm definitely going to Hobby Lobby today. The queen doesn't know it. I'm going to buy like 50 brushes. That's what I usually do. I just go, I go okay, I'll take, a, I'll take 50 of those, 20 of those, and, and that hat. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Helen. It really helps. Thank you. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of kind of work here a little bit. And we're working against, I mean, this is still wet. See, that, that red eye. It's just more menacing. It's just more meta menacing. Let me do the other side here. Helmet down. And start in the middle of the eye and work your way out. Please don't try to hit the edges. Always make sure that you have a good feel for your brush. Listen, you're going to make mistakes. I don't care who you are. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, jeez. I did that off the thing, huh? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I got. I forgot. I got to back out. <laughs> I didn't super chat enough for 50 brushes. No, that's all right. It doesn't matter. It helps. It really does. There we go. All right. You see, this is all drying nicely, and we have that. Boy, that's disgusting in there, isn't it? I mean, look at that. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Is that the one with the offset? In the book, the eyes are red. Oh, I see, I didn't even look. Man. New brushes last week. Army Printer had brushes. I needed smallest ones called the Psycho. Yeah, see, that's what I need. I need some Psychos around here. All right, letting that dry a little bit. And and then after I've done this, I kind of maybe almost want to blend this in a little bit. Why not? Why not? Let's, let's, uh, let's be dangerous. I'm feeling, I'm feeling we should be a little dangerous here. Let's just try to blend this other color in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work that in there. Yeah, see? That, that brings a little glow to it. Even though that's not dry, kind of just leaving a little bit of that red underneath. All right, let's take a look at that. Let's see what you think of that. All right. Not bad, huh? Uh, 
let's do a slow close up so it doesn't unfocus on us. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. And when this dries, I may even go over it with a little more pink and I may draw some things in there. Who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do? Who knows? All right. <clears throat> I think we have this where we can leave this. We're going to let it dry for, it's going to take like a half hour. Um, the rest is, is going to be in a part two, which is going to be how to assemble this guy. And then at the very end of my assembly, I will show you this figure and then we will finish um, just doing the highlights on it. So, but even now, even where it's at right now, I don't know, maybe we can, do a little bit more. I just don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk, you know, because it's drying and everything like this. Even now, if you were able to put this on this base, this would be good enough for you to play with. I think, you know, just doing these simple steps and not going the extra, extra mile. Uh, I think that you would be happy with what you've seen here. And, and how long did it take me? We did it under, uh, under an hour. Um, just to get it to this point. And we do need to do some more things here. Here is for the wrap-up. Here's for here for the wrap-up. Looks great. Thank you so much. It's not done yet. Um, it's just it's going to take a while for that wash to dry. And um, and then what what I would do is I would take some just just for those that may not catch it. Uh, I would take a little bit of this administrative grate very, very lightly. And I, I could show you just a little bit on this area here. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just show you. When I mean a little, I mean, I'm going to take this brush right here. And I am just going to, I'm going to dab this just a hair. Okay. And let's back this out just a hair. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to take, and I'm going to wipe every bit of this off okay because I want it almost like dust and I can kind of go over the top of this ear here look at that kind of whoops I screwed up the eye kind of go over the here just a little bit just a little bit and just so I don't take out the the indentation there. Let me fix this real quick. Let me fix this real quick because I messed up. Um, actually, I can fix it by just doing this. I'm trying to get cute, and that's what I get. Because what we're going to do here is, you can even do some lines in here if you wanted to. Just kind of take your liner brush and take that particular color. If you really wanted to, you can. If you wanted, you can do this and just hit the the higher areas, just a couple, and work that gray over the top. That administrative gray and just really bring out some of the musculature sorry I butchered that word right there under the eye I want to clean that up a little bit because I accidentally when I tried to dry brush it but that actually brings out his face a little bit more which is fine all right and there we go all right, I'm pretty happy with that for now, but I will show you the rest. I have another antelope that I have to do for a patron, so I am going to be putting that together. I'm going to show you how it goes together, and then I will show you the final of this. So that will be a video that you'll see this week, um, but I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to do. Um, Tomorrow we're going to be doing 1500, which I think you will like on this nice neoprene map. Make sure you take, check out the video this afternoon that's coming out that explains the game a little bit. It is a Dan version game. It's going to be a really good experience. I wonder if I can just show you guys how to glue this back on here. 
Uh, okay, why not? Well, we could do that. We can do that. And then we can finish them up. You know, some of these models, it makes you wonder, you know, geez, what were they thinking when they did that? But, you know, it looks cool when it's on that base. So we're just going to put him on his base for now. And all I'm going to do is take this cup and just lean that in there. There we go. And we're going to let him dry. And then we're going to come back and we're going to touch this guy up. We're going to really bring out some of the features of him and finish him up, like I said. Guys, this has been fun. I think I've said it all. Misfit, happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. We have a lot going on. Uh, live vlog tomorrow and live gameplay tomorrow. Make sure you check it out. And we've got a whole host of videos that you'll see all this week with Gloomhaven, some more Rising Sun, tons of reviews, tons of stuff with all you guys. Hey, have a great day. And it was a good way to start my day by spending it with you this morning. Until next time, I am your old pal Rob, and we will see you soon.